Hey there, Laurel Beard here. I've been trying to do this voiceover all day, but my daughter keeps following me around, so now I'm hiding in my son's closet. Uh, today I'm going to be making three cards using the Ken Oliver Color Bursts and the New Liquid Metals. And these are the three cards that I'm going to make in the video today. Now, I'll be honest, I got the package and immediately ripped open the packaging like a kid on Christmas morning and started playing. I turned on my video player and started playing. Now, this is the new Ken Oliver watercolor cardstock. I love it. It is a nice, bright white. It has a smooth side and then a rough side. And I tell you, it takes a lot of water because I spray a lot of water here on these cards. And it didn't buckle. It didn't pill or anything. So I'm really impressed with the watercolor cardstocks. And they come in different sizes. I think it even has pennants and tags maybe. Um, I just got the regular, I think this is 6x6 six six, uh, watercolor cardstock. Now I'm using the metallics and the liquid metals. Sky, amethyst, jade, rose. And I think I put in a little playtho green. And again, I really just opened the package and started playing so i really don't know the proper way to use these liquid metals uh, so this is kind of what i'm doing just playing around and you guys get to play with me in my first experience using these guys so i'm just kind of dropping little drops on the stencil and then adding some water here uh, and i'm just going to continue to do that until i get good coverage now the stencil i think i forgot to mention it the stencil that i'm using is a stencil by the crafters workshop so again, I'm going in and spraying some water. I'm pretty irritated right now. You can't tell, but my water mister was empty. I had to go refill it. Ugh, I hate when I do that. All right, so now I'm just going to keep spraying, keep adding, keep spraying, keep adding. And I like the four colors that I work with. Now, they come in 12 different colors, these liquid metals, by the way. So I thought I had a little bit too much color on, so I dabbed some of it away with a microfiber cloth. And now I'm going in and adding more color again. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just having a, so much fun. These colors are so pretty and sparkly. And I do want to mention, when you use liquid metals, give it a good shake. You want to shake it before you start using it on your project. All right, so here I am adding more water. And, you know, I messed up here because I ended up adding too much water and I lost the shape of my stencil. As you can see here, it's kind of a big blob, but I'm going to use that later. I'm not going to waste it. But I took that same stencil and I pressed it onto some watercolor cardstock. And you can see I got a second printing uh, from that same stencil. So I'm going to use both of those in just a minute. I'm going to set those aside to dry. Now I've got another stencil also by the Crafters Workshop. And this time I'm going to use the Color Burst, the new pack here, the Caribbean pack. Uh, these are the powders. And the colors I'm using are turquoise, fuchsia, orchid, and again, I'm going to add in some a little bit of that Playtho green. So for this, I'm just tapping out a little bit of powder. Now, a little bit of powder. <laughs> a little goes a long way. I, uh, I I joke around and say that these are powders with power because a teeny tiny bit, is gonna, you're going to get a huge reaction from it. It's just amazing to watch these guys work with water. Uh, so I am just making sure that I've got enough uh, burst color burst on there and I'm taking some water and spraying from pretty far above it's a little bit intense so I'm going to take that same microfiber cloth and kind of dab it away and then look I'm going to lift my stencil and will you look at that isn't that pretty I just think it's adorable now I'm also going to go in and add a little bit of platinum it's one of the liquid metals ignore the, the pewter there I'm not going to use it but I'm going in adding some drops here and there and then kind of blending it in with my finger and then once all these dry just take a look so I'm going to work with that one to the left here, the one that I kind of got a big blob. I'm going to work with that because I loved all the colors and, and I loved all the, the patterns it left behind. So I went ahead and stamped that with a, a stamp set and I die cut it. It's by Ellen Hudson. It's the Mondo Hydrangea. And uh, die cut that. I'm inking up a black base here with a striped stamp in my stash. Now I inked it up with some pigment ink because it stays wet longer and I'm able to do some heat embossing. So I'm sprinkling on some clear embossing powder here. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. And the tool to getting a good heat impression is to allow your heat gun to heat up for a good 20, 30 seconds. Take a look at how quick that's uh, uh, melting that embossing powder. It's just fantastic. I love watching embossing powder melt. Is it just me? <laughs> I'm going to pop up that hydrangea with some foam dimension here. Or you could lay it flat, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and then I just trim down this card base, and that's the first card here. Look at all that shine from the color burst and adding that liquid metal to it. Ooh, it's real pretty. All right, so let's work on the second card. This is the one where we just put down the color burst powder over a stencil. I'm going to pull this card together very easily because I want all of the color burst images to be the rock star of my projects. So I'm going to take a sentiment stamp. This is from, what's this from? This is from Label Love by Alta New. I love it because it gives you that black label look. It's very popular now. There's a lot of stamp companies that have uh, images like this. I'm going to pop that up with some foam dimension as well. Again, or you can lay it flap. Apparently I'm in a dimensional mood. <laughs> 
And then I want to show you how I'm going to get that little strip of glitter right down there on the bottom of the card. Kind of hard to tell from that picture. But this is some glitter tape. Now this is a product that is a new release from the ton. And I like it because it's a glitter tape, but it has the adhesive on the back. And I am a lazy crafter. I am. It's true. So the fact that this has adhesive on the back is golden for me. I just slap that down on my card and I'm done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's tons of colors there. All right, so here's the last card that we're going to do. And this is the one where I did that second uh, print of that stencil. I laid it right down onto the cardstock and stamped it that way. I went ahead and die cut it. Basically, I did. I stamped with that stencil with color bursts. Cool. All right, so I ran that through a uh, die cutting machine with a circle die. I've got a piece of white cardstock here. I just trimmed it at an angle, and I'm going to kind of adhere that down to the bottom right-hand corner of my card. This is a different kind of layout for me. I'm kind of getting used to it. I am. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the. Here I go. I did something flat. I adhered the circle down, die down flat. But, yeah, I'm going to go back to that dimension. And I'm going to pop up the Hello, which is a word die from Ellen Hudson, but it is uh, die cut with some of that pink, that fuchsia color burst panel that I did when I was playing around and I'm going to pop that up. Now I decided I wasn't quite happy with this card. Do you ever guys ever make cards and you're just like, ugh, I don't like it. Ugh. Rounding the corners didn't do it for me either. I thought maybe that would do it for me, but nope, I wasn't quite happy there. So I went back to that same uh, glitter tape that I used before and this time I grabbed purple. I thought it went in very nicely with the orchid, that purple color burst. And I'm going to kind of peel up that circle die just a little bit and put that uh, that strip of purple glitter tape down and then I like it a little bit better. <laughs> it's the little things, you know, little things that go a long way for me. And that's that, three cards uh, at one sitting, just playing with my color bursts and the liquid metals for the very first time. I had a blast, they're great products. I encourage you to check them out. They are available in retailers right now. I'm just saying. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me today as I hang out in my son's closet doing this voiceover. <laughs> now I gotta go find out, check and see what my daughter's doing. Have a great day.